Tom Evans. Uh, why are you here again, mate? Come on. It's a good question. Um, a question I've been asking myself a lot. Um, yeah, after Western States, just, yeah, I recovered really well and just wanted to give myself the opportunity to be on another start line this year. And it's very difficult saying, turning down a place at UTMB, it's such an incredible race and an amazing atmosphere. Um, and you get a race against the best in the world in some of the most beautiful mountains in the world. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm here to have a great time. What is your motivation? Because, you know, it doesn't get much better than winning Western States. Couldn't you just live off that for a year or two and then come back and, and go for UTMB another year? What's, what's driving you? I think for me, no one's done it. No male has done it before. No one's finished on the podium in both races in the same year. Um, I've got the closest with it's within 12 months it's like 10 months apart um, and yeah I feel I did a I've just come off a really good training block in teen and yeah I'm just super motivated to race and my season's ending on Sunday regardless of the result um, and then yeah I can then just relax and enjoy it but yeah, I feel I feel great. I'm loving my running. I'm completely injury free, and I'm really motivated to yeah see how far I can push. And yeah, that's why I'm here. When you when you sit back, do you ever sit back and think, gosh, I remember that bet with my mates to go and do the Sahara, and and how where you've come from there. I mean, do you do you ever contemplate that? Yeah, I, I do think a little bit sort of how how different things could have been had I not done it and could be leading a completely different life and yeah I guess you never know what avenue you're going to go down and yeah it's pretty uh I think I always would have ended up doing something like this sort of testing myself I needed something outside of regular work to yeah really be able to push myself physically and mentally um so yeah I think I would have I would have got here maybe a year or so later, but um, yeah, it's, for me, it's still pretty wild and pretty crazy to be I mean, here. It still feels like a roller coaster, even though you're, you know, you won CCC in 2018. Yeah. I mean, and that's, so that's five years ago now, so you're not exactly a newbie, are you? No, yeah, it's, yeah, that's like what I keep telling myself. I always say, oh, yeah, I've not been here for for a while and then you realize yeah i raced the first time i raced here was 2017 and at ccc and then came back in 18 and improved on my performance and yeah i'm sort of this is now my fourth year at a utmb race and yeah they come around quickly and yeah what um what's going on with your data because you are you are a data freak aren't you? you love it i mean i've been seeing your videos where you're sticking needles in your arm analyzing your blood oxygen saturation what's all that about what do you enjoy that that stuff yeah i think there's a certain amount of data collection that can be really useful as long as it's then analyzed correctly um I think you, a lot of the time people, and your watch does the 95% of it, but people then just don't use it the way that they could. And there's a lot of stuff that you can collect that's useful, but there's also a lot of stuff you can collect that's not that useful, not that relevant. And for us, like, because we've started collecting the data, now we don't actually need to collect that much, but you can sort of, yeah, you can um, compare yourself to where you were at a certain point in, training last year so it either gives you confidence or it gives you a bit of a reality check that okay I'm possible I'm able to do this or I'm not able to do this so yeah I think it's really interesting but then also you can just for me now like my training so specific I'm not doing any training just for the sake of it everything's leading to a race whether it's Western States or UTMB and I want to make sure that the training that I'm doing is actually working rather than getting to race day and then realizing only using race day as a marker for is my training working. I want to be able to measure how things are going, maybe not on a day to day basis, but definitely by a week to week basis so that there are no surprises on race day. And I know what I'm, yeah, I know what I'm capable of doing, certainly for the first 10 hours. And then after that, sort of the the muscles switch off and the mind switches on. Do you ever just leave your watch at home and just go out and run? these days no 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 um, I don't either <laughs> no I don't I for me it's sort of it's it doesn't I'm definitely not governed by my watch and I listen to my body as much as I can to 
watch? Yeah, using the watch is just tracking the load. Like yeah, it's yeah. just helping build the overall picture of exactly what's going on because it all adds up. Like for the the final two weeks for Western States are exactly the same. I've done almost exactly the same load and burnt the same amount of kilojoules of energy in the last two weeks before UTMB because that worked and it might not work here, but it's just trying to build this blueprint of what works. You had you had a, a plan for Western States, which which didn't necessarily, I mean, I know you're racing, but it just didn't necessarily involve the other runners. You had a time in your head, correct me if I'm wrong, you had a time in your head that you thought was going to be the winning time and you you kind of set out to go for that. It, is there a similar strategy, if that's correct, is there a similar strategy going into this race? I, yeah, that was correct going into the race, but then the snow section from Olympic Valley to Robinson Flat was really slow. Um, we were like 25 minutes slower than I thought it was going to be. So at that point, all of the timings kind of went out the window. So I just ran at sort of the pace that I felt comfortable it was pushing but it was comfortable and that sort of ended up me and dakota jones separating from the pack and the plan was always then to pick it up sort of between uh forest Hill and the river and regardless of what people were doing if i was on my own i'd have done the same thing and yeah managed to get a six minute lead going into rocky Tracky river crossing and then um yeah just sort of kept kept my foot on the gas till six kilometers to go and then sort of just relax a little bit as i had a 26 minute lead and just thought right let's just back off and let's just carry this one home so we know what your plans are for, for this race we know you're going for you, you're going for the win um, what's happening after the season's over? What's what's the next step for you? Did, regardless of, of what happens on Sunday, what's the next step? Yeah, I think for me, it's sort of it's going home. I've definitely not um, enjoyed my Western States result at all. I've not celebrated with friends or family because it was sort of pretty much back straight to the grind. Um, and I think you definitely need to take time to appreciate things that you've done and you put a lot of effort into and done really well. Um, my wife's a pro triathlete and is in the process of trying to qualify for Paris Olympics. Um, so I'll do what I can to help there. I ride my bike a lot. We do some gravel bike racing. Um, You're enjoying Zwift? Loving Zwift. Um, yeah, using Zwift both on the bike and on the treadmill, which is great. You've got to come and run with us again, man. It'd be do very do cool. Group run. It would be very cool. Yeah. No, I would love to. Um, I might race some cross country, try and qualify for European cross country championships. Um, yes, you had a little flirt with the Olympic trials. Is yeah. that something that's still in your brain? Yes, but the marathon's too fast. I can't run 208. 30. Um, there are some other events on the track that I think I could run um, or get pretty close to. Um, a lot of it's not dictated by me. Um, I have to race on the trails. Um, so yeah, if I can balance things out, it's definitely, I definitely have an itch to scratch there. But yeah, my main effort will be getting so for my wife as well prepared as she can for, um, for her Olympic trials. Western States again next year? Very difficult to say no as M1. Yeah. But we'll see. Brilliant. Cheers, mate. Thanks very much.